So let me tell you my opinion why I don't think NoFap is beneficial, especially if you're out there chasing women or trying to achieve your goals in life, trying to achieve a certain level of mastery um, in a certain skill or developing a sense of purpose. Look, I don't mind having a discipline, okay? If you have a discipline such as not masturbating or even taking cold showers, there's benefits to having a discipline. It's actually good for you. Um, there is a benefit to restricting um, dopamine through masturbation. There is, right? It'll actually help you enjoy it more. First of all, there there is a fact that if you don't masturbate, it's not good for your prostate. I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you. Masturbation is literally physio physiologically healthy. There is no... Unless you, unless you get dick gum headaches, which, trust me, some people get um, headaches from, um, from masturbating or even sex. Crazy migraines. Um... Unless you have that, there is no ben there's only negatives when it comes to actual your prostate health. If you don't masturbate, if you don't ejaculate, it's not good for your prostate, people. I'm just gonna you could even Google it. It's not good. Now let's talk about the emotional side, right? What are the benefits of masturbation? And then I'm gonna tell you why I, why I'm, I'm gonna tell you the the physiological benefits that have been proven, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't agree with no fat. Um so the first one is this. Um, is that it affects your mood positively, all right? Dopamine, endorphins, oxytocin are associated, are released whenever you masturbate, right? Um, so literally masturbating will change the way you feel. You don't, you'll feel incredible. The next thing is that it increases your focus and concentration and judgment. Um, the term post-nut clarity, post-nut clarity is legit. You actually feel more level-headed and more clear after you uh, after you masturbate. You, you're you're going to be able to study better, focus for a longer period of times. Um, people say there's no scientific explanation for this, but I know why. It's because you're not thinking of pussy. Like, if you guys don't masturbate, women are going to be the most important thing on your mind. Like, like you, if you see a one beautiful woman you're not going to be able to forget her because you're just so, you're just so sexed up. Your, your dick is just so craving poom poom that every woman becomes even more attractive. Your, your, your standards literally lower. Almost everybody becomes attractive. You don't masturbate, masturbate long enough. And the number one, a woman's number one kryptonite is a guy with an empty ball sack. That's a woman's kryptonite because she cannot control that guy. She cannot. You kick. She cannot manipulate him with his bot with her body because that guy is so focused because he because he doesn't have a full uh, a, a, a full lo a, a loaded pistol. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> so if you're going around your day and and you're looking at a lot of women and you're finding a hard time to focus, masturbating helps. Literally, masturbating does help. Um, so that that for me, that's a big one because, for example, like if I if I if, if I'm going to the city and I go there and I haven't like jacked off all day, yo, I'm telling you, I'm gonna come back home and I'm not gonna be I'm, whatever whatever I went to the city to do, I'm not gonna be able to focus. If I work in the city or if I work around beautiful women, right? That's another example because beautiful women increases your testosterone. Beautiful women get get you hornier. It, it, it just in general, like you could be at work and your dick might not be hard, but because there's a beautiful woman, literally your testosterone goes up and your focus becomes more on sex. You're just going to be thinking more about sex, right? So one way to clear your mind is to literally masturbate. And if you're having a tough time focusing, literally masturbation increases your focus, right? Um, I Like for me, when it comes to art school and stuff like that, mass and I don't, you know... <laughs> Masturbating for me is what keeps me level-headed. It, it, it's just a fact, right? Um, I'm not going to tell you guys my routine because some classmates might be watching this and they it will be fucking weird. But I have my routines, all right, that whenever I need to focus, I pretty much just let one off and all of a sudden I'm able to focus really well, all right? And I bet a lot of, a lot of you guys can attest to that. This whole myth of... Of mass of of not jacking off that that's going to help you achieve your goals more. It's I, I think it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit in in my opinion. I really do think it's bullshit. 
Because true motivation doesn't come from doesn't come from semen retention. I, I just don't see I just don't see it. How could you be motivated towards something when your physiology is telling you you, you want something else? Because if you don't jack now, some people talk about the fact that after a few weeks, all of a sudden you don't want it. Okay, whatever. I haven't experienced it. I've tried it. I haven't experienced it. And also, if you could do that, that's fine. But also, it's not good for your prostate health. So even even if you do get the benefits of it, having bad prostates as you get older, people, it's not fun. All right. Like I'm just letting you know, jacking off is there for a reason. You use you have a hand for a reason. Um. Another thing is that it relieves stress and anxiety because it releases oxytocin, which plays a role in regulating stress and reducing anxiety. Um, it also reduces your blood pressure, lowers cortisol levels, which is a hormone associated with stress, right? And it also can help you fall asleep. And also, for me, it helps me wake up as well, right? So it's kind of like it helps you fall asleep if you're having a tough time sleeping, and it helps you wake up if you're if you don't feel motivated enough. Um, also, they say it, it affects your self esteem. I get, I suppose so. I don't fucking know, right? <laughs> like, all I know is that if I'm not getting any poom poom and I masturbate, I'm not gonna be. Well, well, f- what's funny is that when you do that, you at the way you view women's validation after you jack off, you don't care much about women's validation after jacking off. So in that regard, it could definitely raise your self esteem, and it's a tool that some guys use to get over their exes because. Sometimes just letting one off, it helps you feel better and helps you forget about the woman sometimes. Sometimes, not always. So this is why I don't agree. Um, um, this is why I don't agree with not, not masturbating. And also, masturbating increases your libido. All right? Um, some, some form of masturbation has been, le- has been shown... To, to, to maintain healthy sex drive. Because if you don't masturbate for a while, your drive, your sex drive will just completely go away. The, the term of if you don't use it, you lose it, it's very true, people. It, it's very true. Now, don't get me wrong. I imagine the glorious, <laughs> the glorious orgasm that you have after ma- not masturbating for months, which is pretty enviable, to be honest with you. But it's just... I, it's not something that I would just recommend, man. If, especially if you're somebody who has a lot of things to do, you don't want to have another distraction on your hands. <laughs> you know, a big, for some guys, a big distraction, right? Or some guys, a little distraction. You don't want to have one in your hand, you know? Um, so it's kind of like, if you want to achieve your goal, you got to have all of your singular energy in one thing. And if you consistently want poom poom, then you're not, then you're not going to have that singular type of focus that's required to achieve your goals in life. Um, now, tell me, now some people, you know, some of you guys don't agree with me. Um, I know no fap is a movement. I don't understand. Like, I, honestly, I don't understand because again, it's just, for me, I never said, not one time have I ever said, like, if it, not masturbating helps me focus. That's that makes no sense. That makes no sense, people. Okay? Because when you have the, the desire to fuck and your dick is there, right? That's all you're going to focus. You're you're literally wired to make that your number one focus. Look, guys, I remember. I'm going to tell you a story, man. I remember I didn't masturbate for like two weeks. The second week, I couldn't do it no more. I was dying. My dick was exploding. It was, it was fucking hyper... It was fucking per- percolating, going completely hyperplectic. Just crazy. And I remember I just started going on Tinder in every fucking part of city, in every state in, around my area in Pennsylvania. I ended up going to New York City and the girl flaked on me. So I, here I am, dick in hand, girl flaking on me, that fucking bitch, right? I still remember her. She was a, she was one of those attention whores, attention whores, fucking crazy. Like the type of bitch that you want to choke for wasting your time because clearly she knew what she was doing. And she, and I, she was like, come over. And as soon as I went there, she was like, I can't come down. And then she made me wait for like an hour and she never came down, which is like, you know, like that type of evil shit, which I truly hope the Lord, I truly hope, like, I hope she fails in life. <laughs> like, I really do for doing that bullshit to me. I'm that petty that I really hope she fails in life. Anyways, so I had to drive back to New York, to Pennsylvania, all dick in hand, like horrible. And I found a girl tender who was like, come to Philly. I went to Philly and I remember that day, man. I was like, I pretty much almost like begged her to give me a blowjob. Like, I was like, yo, I need a blowjob. Like, 
like she was like what she was like yeah I, like i haven't jacked off in two weeks i'm dying and she was like okay and i remember man oh my lord my god after i jacked after after, after i came out my, my ears were ringing my ears were ringing a a a a a, a, a flood of joy and peace fell upon me. It was almost like the Lord put his hands on me and just gave me this crazy bliss. I remember when I got out of the room, her friend was waiting for us. It was almost like the resurrection of Jesus. Like I just came out of there. Like, like, like you get a free dinner. You get, yeah, I bought them dinner. I bought them dinner. I was like, yo, let's go get some dinner. You guys can get whatever you want. And I was like, it was, I was in such a great mood, man. It was, it was, it was like, it was like, like, I, I never, like, <laughs> I still remember that. It was crazy, man. I was in such a great mood. And from that day on, I was like, you know what, man? I cannot believe not jacking off led me to go to New York City. And now I'm in Philly taking two girls to, to, um, to dinner whom I don't, whom I barely even know. One, I just came in her mouth and the other girl was her friend, right? Never heard from her again. I don't think she liked that. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think she liked it, but I always notice that whenever I don't jack off, I just I just make bad decisions. I just make dick based decisions, right? And it's not and and some it's just not something I recommend. Just keep your keep keep your pipes empty as much as possible and focus on achieving your purpose in life. Okay. Anyways, that's what I think about this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, so if you're if you consider yourself a nice guy, if you're the type of person that always tries to always gets played by women, is considered like a mama's boy, or you like assertiveness, or you've been bullied when you were a little kid, and so you develop some nice guy's tendencies, then I would check. I would highly recommend you check out my new course, Nice Guy. It's specifically made for just nice people in general. I'm a nice guy. I was a nice guy. I was a Bible teacher, for God's sake. I was a Bible teacher. It doesn't get any more nicer than that. Okay. So in this course, I will teach you about the art of assertiveness. And if you fix, if you just learn to become more assertive in a healthy and non-toxic way, what will happen is that men will respect you and women will bang you for the most part, okay? As long as women respect you and see you as a man, that's all that matters. So this course is more about how to embrace your masculine side. If a guy watches this, he'll embrace his masculine side. If a woman watches this, they'll embrace their feminine. This is a course specifically made to bring out your assertive self in a healthy way. So you're going to learn about the, the source of human aggression. Um, you gotta learn about how to how to assert yourself in terms of um, in, in, in a in a work situation. What to do if somebody disrespects you? Um, how how to take how to know if somebody is disrespecting you or not? Because when you're a nice person, you assume that everybody has good intentions. So you can check out all of this. It's a pretty big course, but the size of the course it doesn't matter. Um, you can check out all of this for just ninety nine dollars. And if you don't like it, just ask for your money back, and I'll send you your money back. No questions asked not one time in my career have i've ever rejected somebody's refund so if you don't like it it's a money back guarantee this is the equivalent of buying a sneaker okay it's a really good investment so i'll see you guys inside it's a 30-day money back guarantee and you will not regret it because after this course you will learn how to become more assertive and women will stop playing you it's plain and simple and that's all that matters i'll see you guys inside